So here's a little something you may have heard recently. Shortage in the supply chain, not enough workers, or just flat out of stock. Right, and these are obviously very important because these are essentials such as food and transportation. But what about the shortage of role models? Yeah. Or even greater, the shortage of hope. Hope is actually our lifeline. It's so important because it helps us to push through and to persevere. Hope becomes the battery to our dreams. Well, today, we rise to hope through the arts. I'm Corey. And I'm Timmy. I moved out to California from the East Coast. I came to LA from Hawaii. The goal was to be a star. So I ended up in Hollywood. For 15 years, I warmed up crowds on American Idol, dancing with the stars, and even spent the last decade touring the world as a DJ. I started as a dancer and performed for artists like Aaliyah, Missy Elliott, and Will Smith. I then authored three books and became a pastor. But through it all, something was missing. I felt this desire to be a part of something real. A movement that would change communities. To tell stories of strength, built on people's passions, driven by their courage and giving the world hope. So we've come together to celebrate unsung heroes from around the world. This is The Rise Effect. This is Spidey and Crystal, and they are the heads, the founders of Zulu Dance Foundation. So good to have you guys on the show. Hey, thanks yes. You guys are amazing. <laughs> My gosh. How did the Zulu Dance mm. Foundation begin? Where, where, what, what, what was the idea and the concept behind all of this? It all happened, um, I would say like around 2008. I was part of this dance crew called Double X Explosion. It was just like a um, all around dance crew, yeah. um, a bunch of friends. And Crystal ended up finding us on Craigslist. I had no idea the, the squad put an a email wow. out like that. Mm. But um, I ended up coming to rehearsal and I seen her sitting there. And then the first thing I noticed like was her eyes and her smile. I was like, okay, who's this? And then it was like, oh, this is the beaker we told you about. I'm like, y'all never told me about another breaker. So me at that time, I was all like hardcore battle mode. I was like, oh, all right, then let's see what you got. <laughs> so I went to the back of the studio, did flares, windmills, boom, got up hard. Mm. And then she comes up like, oh, your flares and windmills are good. But if you open your legs a little bit better, it'll, it'll look better. I yeah. was like, yeah, that's good advice. No one's ever ever given me advice about my dance. Mm. It's always like, oh, you're dope, you should do something with it. There was never any type of critiques. Mm. So that was the first time someone's given me a critique. So I was like, huh, all right, I'm gonna stick around you. Life material. <laughs> all right. <laughs> but, um, you know, we, we became real quick homies, like really, really fast. She brought me on along with her to do a couple shows. And then um, after that, she realized that I had a lot to teach when it came to breaking. So she brought me to her kids and I taught them stuff, but teaching at that point was not easy for me. <laughs> Sometimes in order to rise to your purpose, it requires you to do something that isn't easy or just doesn't feel natural. But the one thing that was natural was the connection between Spidey and Crystal. Yeah, I remember one rehearsal, we sat down um, against the wall and then she had an idea. She was like, I wanna, I wanna start a crew. So I was like, so what, what are you thinking? And at that time, it was, she, she told me um, Zulu Maniacs. Mm. I was like, Zulu Maniacs? And then she told me the whole like history about it and where it came from, from like um, the history of hip hop, but it came from like Nakadosha's, like her, her, her old um, hip hop mentor. Well, he's mm -hmm. mine too now. Mm -hmm. But uh, it came from like, from that and I ran with it and it was dope. I was like, all right, cool, let's, let's yeah. do it. And then we became this dope kids crew but in the midst of that, we realized that we were helping more than teaching. Mm. It started off as a dance crew and then it quickly shifted to a family. So and tell me about this family idea, mm. this concept that was created. It, it started off as a crew, but it developed into a family. So what, what, what made it a family? When you're a family, you're like usually always around each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. And we ended up just being always around these kids because again, we, we really wanted to help them. So you, you gotta put in more time to really help them. So then mm. the parents see that, so then they wanna give to us because they're like, oh, we're fighting and Crystal are helping our children. And then, yeah, just, I just, yeah, what Spidey said earlier is like, people like come to us because we're more than just like a teacher. We actually are going to like love on you and we're gonna, yeah. and it comes with me being Hawaiian too, like the Aloha spirit, you yes. know. Crystal and Spidey went from being dancers to creating family and they have transformed into mentors and role models for a whole new generation. 
in the beginning, I just wanted wanted to be like the best choreographer, like every mm -hmm. everybody who else starts to <laughs> choreograph. But then just seeing the impact on the kids and like like the response and the love, it was like it was easy to shift to be a role model than that because that wasn't highlighted anymore. Like, what's the point of being the best? So like, I'd rather just be the best role model I can be to the mm. kids. I want to be a role model and I, and I always wanted to reach the kids like, like slum areas and this and that. And it's kind of crazy because on my Instagram, those are the kids who see my stuff. Mm. So it was like dope. And then um, I remember I did this one video like like five years ago in oh, Vegas. Jesus. I was like, my beginning stage is the crumb. I was yeah. like, when I thought I was knowing, I thought I knew what I was doing. <laughs> Dancing in a storm, like it's, it's a crazy video. It's a storm. It's a, storm. So cool. it's a hardcore wow. storm. Like, I feel me, I feel me. <laughs> I'll show you guys the trees in the background storm. blowing. Like, I'm just going crazy, right? And then I ended up posting it like, uh, like a couple years ago, and it blew up. Like, it, it, went, it went viral in the Philippines. Yeah, and then wow. yeah, and then one thing was cool about it. Uh, one kid reached out and said, like, seeing this gave me the courage to dance. Mm. And I mean, I was like, oh, that's mm. dope. So I'm like. I'm actually being a role model, yeah. so yeah. like, yeah, I, I can't, I can't stop Crump. I think what's cool is the juxtaposition of what Crump looks like and where Crump comes from, mm -hmm. right? Because those are two different places, and Crump is oftentimes misinterpreted. You know, I always tell them like, hey, they're beginners. Like, you can't really go in all on them with all this, but I know that that's where your heart is right now. Mm. But like, when I broke it down, I'm like, really, it's essentially they're putting positivity in the world. Mm. So that's why they tell the kids, because I'm like, you're gonna yeah. see Spidey like, you know, being hard in the videos we see, but you guys have to understand it's because they're dancing for a bigger purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Spidey and Crystal were called to a bigger purpose. And like any artist, that did not come without sacrifice. Yeah. We've been doing this like a decade. Now it's 11 years. Mm -hmm. um, when we got our first like dance studio, mm. we gave all of our money to it. It was always came down to pay Zulu rent or pay for our personal stuff. And Zulu always was first, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So there, I remember like a few months we couldn't pay our gas, so we had to take cold showers. Oh yeah. Oh my Ooh. God, that was like a yeah, hot thing and really, really fast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Because we couldn't pay, because then when you can pay it, you have to wait the month for them to come and like turn it on. Yeah. yeah. So I remember being like, oh my God, this wow. is so like hard. Spidey, you said you had a couple that came right to mind, a couple sacrifices. You're like, yeah, I got two that I'm thinking of right now. Yeah, so. Dancing, um, I would say my, my bigger sacrifice when it came to this was um, being homeless for a week. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I would say that. I got um, left home because I really felt like I needed to do this. So I um, stayed at my parents' house for like, oh, no, I stayed on like on the streets for like about a, a good week at a park. Mm. But then one of my homies took me in and was able to move forward from there. But then in the midst of that, Crystal was like, Come on, mm. <laughs> and then brought me over. Yeah, I say that was one of my bigger sac sacrifices. Cause I never done un done anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> was it worth it? Was, I mean, I mean, the, the what you guys have created, and what you have established, mm. and the, the oh, lives yeah, you have touched, sure. like all the sacrifices just seem to be yeah, and part of the journey, right? Yeah, it's, it's good too, cause we I feel like we can inspire those who are like kind of following in our footsteps, or like mm. you know, I I feel like we were built during that time. Yeah. to get what we have now. Yeah. Corey, you were asking, um, and I, I wanted to hear from you, because I know that you deal a lot with the students. Mm. Uh, is is there any stories that you have just seen some development or some growth from you guys creating the Zulu Dance Foundation? I remember driving and getting a text from a parent being like, do you know that you guys have like, our son never really talks, but because he's wow. now part of Zulu, he has like really bad anxiety. Mm -hmm. She was like, he looks forward to something now. These parents How trust you, you know. They, yeah. When, when, that's a big sign that you're doing great when parents trust you guys yeah. at that level with their kids. That means they're seeing results behind closed doors that you guys probably don't even see. Their behavior's changing or they're mm -hmm. motivated or you know, they're just making right choices. And so behind closed doors under their roof. So just know that you guys are truly inspiring communities and young dancers and you're doing an awesome work, it really is. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about what you have now because um, I know you talked about our staff and our, you know, mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, people are looking, they're like, oh, it's these two people who teach dance. But it is not. Like, you guys have grown immensely. Mm -hmm. And also, 
during this time when a lot of people have suffered and mm -hmm. you guys have gained momentum Absolutely. as as a company as a as a foundation so let's talk talk to us a little bit about that i mean right now we're in you know we're in three states we're in texas hawaii and cali we're about mm. in 50 schools so we teach thousands of students every year and you know, like what Spidey said, it started off as a crew, like, oh, this is a little, little crew with the kids, it's <laughs> yeah. so much fun. Then it, you know, came into like a program, which is we were adding more students. Then now it's an after school program mm. where districts just keep, you know, sharing us because they're like, oh my gosh, like this is a quality program. I think both of us have a childlike spirit. Like yeah. it is, you know, that's why people think we're like, 14, 15, 16 years old, we're like, no, we run No, we've grown adults, we married. Right. Right. Entrepreneurs. I mean, his name is Spidey, so you know, yeah. it's like, you know what I mean? It's, it's not even Spider-Man, it's, it's Spidey. Spidey. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, he's always gonna be a kid Boom. at heart. <laughs> even though Crystal and Spidey are very much in tune with their childlike side, it takes a strong calling in order to create a program where kids flock to from all around the world. I hear two amazingly talented um, dancers yeah. who have taken what they were given as a talent, but then you turned it into a purpose, which is pouring into lives. Like, mm -hmm. like you're dancers, but you're, you're spiritual guidance for these kids who need a voice, these kids who need a brother to talk to, you know? And so you've transcended the world of dance, which I think is what's, yeah. we're, what we're covering yeah. is, is hope through dance in this episode. Yeah and you've transcended that and what you're doing. So let's talk about Zulu now, right? Where you are now. If you had a wish list, what would be like the top two or three things on that wish list? Like, what are you trying to do right now besides taking over the world? Yeah. One web at a time. One web at a time. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> right. I mean, oh, hmm. for me, I definitely want to be like for within the next five years to be in every state. So I want us to be nationally, like mm, as yeah. a dance program. My ultimate heart, like Spidey always know, I'm like, I would love for the, to be in the lower to middle class areas where kids are not really given an opportunity. Um, you know, they're given, you know, programs, but I feel like sometimes it's, um, you know, it's okay programs. You know, I want them to have the best. They reach out to their school district. I'm just, I really want our viewers to know how do we do so? How do we get Zulu in our school? Like, do they reach out to the school district? Do they reach out to the to the city like council? How does that work? Really, there's multiple ways. The first one is if you're a parent at a school and you're like, I want yeah, our this pro I yeah, want Zulu happens. at my school. Contact the principal. Mm. Let the principal know. Contact us, Zulu Dance, Zulu Dance yeah. at Yahoo.com. Mm. <laughs> and if it's someone who's like watching us and you are a district. We can like I we work with multiple districts in Texas and Central Coast. The district person can just you know reach out to me directly, mm. and we go. Then we work together and we we create the schedule. Ah. Like that's how then because usually districts they have twenty schools. So then we work together. I'm usually the admin side of that where I'll see okay five five schools on this day, five schools on this day, and we yeah. just start scheduling. You know, mm. I there's always a way where there's a will, there's a way. You guys just keep keep fighting, keep. Keep pushing because you guys are doing great Michelle. work. Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. Paul, thank you guys so yep. much. No, for great to have you on the show. <laughs> you guys are an inspiration. Thank you guys so much for doing this. And, and, and everything that you do, we hope that we have people that will reach out and mm -hmm. sponsor and support and push you guys forward because you guys should reach the stars. God has such great plans for you. Your rise, effect is, <laughs> your rise effect isn't done yet. Our generation thrives when they actually have role models in their lives. Those superheroes. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. You know, when, we, when it's absent and we don't have people that are willing to just take someone under their wings and just give them the guidance. Like, I wish I had some of that when right. I was younger. Right. I, I didn't have any role models. And not until I did get somebody that I can look up to, um, I, I, I was kind of lost. Yeah. We're stepping up into that role model slot are actually seeking out lives to change yeah. and, and and when you are changing people's lives your life is changed mm. and i love yeah. just just the benefit they receive how they talk about how their life is just so enriched and just just so fulfilled because they're helping others mm. so they're, they're they're thriving as others are are gaining ground so it's it's an amazing little exchange right? and this is the whole purpose this is why we do this show because 
we realize that community needs it and that there are unsung heroes in the communities that are stepping up to the cause right now. If they can help, yeah. if they can partner with Let's our guests today, you, our audience can actually get involved because we do have their information on our website, theriseeffect.tv, and you can come alongside with them and really help their mission be pushed forward. And the sooner we roll up our sleeves and dive in, the sooner we can be the rise.